Today we are going to talk about cardigan Welsh Corgi. Welsh Corgi cardigan medium long coat. The cardigan Welsh Corgi is a short, sturdy dog that is set low to the ground. Their straight, medium or short coat is waterproof. They have a fox-like brush for a tail, and their head has the look of a fox also. They are much longer than they are tall. The coat comes in a number of colors, see the breed standard for details. Adult cardigans stand at about 30 centimeters and weigh 15 to 18 kg. Appearance. Cardigan Welsh Corgi puppies are positively adorable, and they grow to be handsome, medium-sized adults, averaging 25 to 38 pounds and standing 10.5 minus 12.5 inches tall at the shoulder. One of the primary characteristics of a corgi is a long, sturdy body with stubby, slightly curved legs. This means they're part of a line of canines known as the Chandratis plastic breeds, which have an evolutionary gene mutation that created a type of dwarfism. As a result, cardigans are cousins of other long-backed dogs such as Pembroke Welsh Corgis, Dachshunds, Basset Hounds, and Peking Knees. These dogs have thick, medium-length double coats with an underlayer that's usually white and downy soft and a sleek top coat of different colors. Whether you have a fluffy cardigan Welsh Corgi depends on his breeding. Usually family pets have more natural coats, and show dogs are a tad more refined in hair distribution, shorter in the front but longer in the back to form what confirmation judges call, pants. Cardigan Welsh Corgi colors are quite varied, with masks often in the same shade as their outer coat, which might be black, brown, red, or a merle pattern of different hues. Their broad heads, topped with highly expressive wide, angular ears, might have the same top coat color or they feature a patch of white that narrows to a stripe traveling the length of their long muzzles. Tricolor cardigan Welsh corgis have a lovely blending of red, black, and brown. Some corgis might also have brindle accents, which are flecks of another color within the top coat. We've talked about the snout and the ears, now let's take a peek at the rear. Corgi butts are a source of online comic relief because of their undeniable cuteness, but this is where you'll immediately notice the cardigan Welsh corgi and the Pembroke difference. Cardigans have puffy fox-like tails, and Pembrokes often have docked tails. And although these two dogs look quite similar in their stocky body shape, cardigans are a bit larger, with more angled hips. Another key aspect of these cousins is they actually come from different canine families. The Cardigan Welsh Corgi Club of America CWCCA, notes that cardigans are the oldest of the two by 2,000 years, descending from German Tekel lineage. Pembrokes are descendants of Nordic Spitz breeds. Related. 153 cute names for corgis. Temperament. The wide open smile of a cardigan is an outward example of his friendly disposition. Affectionate and sweet natured, he bonds well with children and adults, other dogs, and even cats. Related. Why training your dog is so important and how to start. Your cardigan Welsh corgi puppy can learn tricks pretty quickly. As he gets older, try new things. He may be lower to the ground but he's quick, so consider agility training, where he maneuvers through an obstacle course with you. Tap into his natural herding ability with trials and scent work, too. The Cardigan Welsh Corgi is the older of the two corgi dog breeds, with dogs of this type believed to have existed in Wales for more than 3,000 years. Throughout history, people used these dogs to drive cattle to market. These days, they mostly love to spend time with their families and are active, fun-loving playmates for school-age children. The cardigan is distinguished by their long tail, like the sleeves of a cardigan sweater. Their medium-length coat comes in many colors and patterns, including red, brindle, blue merle, and black, usually with white markings. Known as the yard-long dog, the breed is sensible and affectionate. See below for all dog breed traits and facts about cardigan Welsh corgis. Cardigan Welsh Corgi. Height. 10.5 minus 12.5 inches. Weight. 25 to 38 pounds. Lifespan. 12 to 15 years. Breed size. Medium. 26 to 60 lbs. Good with. Families. Children. Dogs. Cats. Temperament. Outgoing. Gentle. Friendly. Playful. Intelligence. High. Shedding amount. Frequent. Exercise needs. High. Energy level. Active. Barking level. Frequent. Drool amount. Low. Breed group. Herding. Coat length texture. Medium. Colors. Black. Brown. Chocolate. Liver. Red. White. Patterns. Bicolor. Tricolor. Brindle. Other traits.
Requires lots of grooming. Low prey drive. Easy to train. High potential for weight gain. Strong loyalty tendencies. Apartment friendly. Loves water. Good hiking companion. With a hi. How are you? Expression and sparky personality. A cardigan Welsh corgi is an immediate charmer. He's a lovable favorite among dog owners with active families because of his ability to learn, abundant energy, and eager response to positive reinforcement training. People willing to put in the time to keep their corgis stimulated, offering quality enrichment, is the most compatible type of pet parent for a cardigan. Is a cardigan the straightest student of Canine Academy? Maybe. With a heritage as one of the world's most popular herding dogs, he's rather zippy on those itty bitty legs. He has the stamina and the smarts to master just about any trick, sport, or activity you want to try. Living with Cardigan Welsh Corgis are actually large dogs with short legs but tend to be easy keepers just the same. Watch their diet and make sure they get exercise or they can become overweight, which is a real health hazard in a dog with the long back. Cardigan Welsh Corgis need daily exercise and do best if they are trained and have jobs to do, even if that is just fetching a ball. Intelligent dogs left to their own devices can become destructive. A firm but patient hand is often needed in training, and a sense of humor can be invaluable. Cardigans compete successfully in almost all performance events including herding and agility. Cardis will guard the family and home, and many retain at least some of their ancestral herding instincts. Socialize them early and well. They are generally good with children, but they need to be taught that running children are not livestock to be rounded up by a nip on the heels. Early exposure to other dogs helps with their occasionally tough attitude. History. The Cardigan Welsh Corgi is the older of the two Corgi breeds, which came to Wales with the Celts around 1200 BC. Some feel that the Swedish Valhund of similar build may be in the background, since they were brought to the British Isles by the Vikings. The word Corgi has multiple possible origins. Some think that it is Celtic for dog, while others think that the name comes from core, for dwarf or, to gather, and gi, for dog. Certainly both derivations fit. The Cardi, as the breed is commonly called, was developed as an all-around farm dog in Wales. These dogs are low-slung on short legs so that they can nip stubborn cattle on the heels and then duck out of the way. They also undoubtedly protected the homestead and hunted vermin when not working livestock. Cardis are equally adept at handling sheep and ducks as they are with cattle. The Cardigan and the Pembroke Welsh Corgis were separated officially into different breeds in the early 1930s. AKC recognition came in 1935. The personable Edward starring in the movie, The Accidental Tourist, is a lovely tricolor Cardigan Welsh Corgi. Training Notes Cardigans are smart and easily trained. They are natural guardians, so socialization is important during early training. Care notes. A corgi has more back problems than many other breed due to its long dot low back. Owners should not allow a corgi to jump off a bed or other furniture dot for exercise, a corgi loves daily walks. 